Good morning. So, what it seems like, it seems like on the twin flame journey, that the more that I release and let go and bring all of my power back to me, kind of focus on myself and focus on my inner working and focus on my own spiritual awakening and focus on my own rising and my own ascension, and that becomes my main passion. Uh, and the more I release him, the more he comes back in. And it seems as though it happens in a way of flow. It happens in a way where there is no, um, you know, if I just completely let go, then the energy is automatically in sync um, somehow. So this week I've kind of had an epiphany. Uh, a couple of days ago, um, I had this a day where I felt like I just completely clammed up. I completely, I had nothing to say. I got up in the morning, I went to the Mediterranean Sea and I picked up stones. And then I came here, I'm at the natural spring here near, near the house. And I pretty much spent the day in solitude by myself, not really in any kind of expression. I didn't feel like I really I could talk about anything or I had anything that I wanted to talk about. I was going really deep inwardly. And, and then I went in, towards the evening, I went to the hot springs and I was kind of, I had like, I don't even know how to explain the energy that I was having that day. It was maybe a little bit of chasing energy, but not really. It was something a little bit, a little bit more like, I don't know. It was like I was clammed up. It was like everything was going inward. It was like all of my energy was focused inward. Um, I think that was the day before yesterday. And... And then towards the evening, I went to this ancient, uh, the ancient site of the, where, where the hot springs are, the ancient hot spring site, the Roman site. And I sat there and I went into meditation because I wanted to kind of, uh, see, uh, how, I wanted to see something. I wanted to see energetically, um, I wanted to see the connection energetically and I went into this meditative state and I was able to see something so clearly energetically. I was able to see the, the magnet, like the draw and the draw, the chasing energy. I wanted to see that. So I could see that the chasing energy was like being drawn to him like a magnet. That means that he was a stronger magnet and I'm being pulled in. And I started realizing that that is like uneven. And I could see that in order for the, for it to be, you know, and in that, in, in that case, it's like me being drawn to him, he's running. And in that, in that case, then I need to bring my polarization up to be an equal uh, place in magnetizing. Like, and, and, and make my beacon as bright. And that is basically bringing all of the energy back to me and increasing my vibration and bringing myself up to a level where I have a, a, a strong, I have the, as strong of an equal push and pull uh, to bring myself to a place where, because I realized that when you magnetize, it's because you're standing in your solid place. When you stand in your solid place, the entire world rotates your entire world, the entire world, your universe rotates around you. You are the, 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 the point of magnitude. You are the point of power. And so in me being drawn out of my pillar, it's uneven. Whereas if I bring myself and bring all the focus back to me and all of my energy back to me and realize in myself, my strength, which is 
the spiritual awakening coming into yourself coming into your into your um your beauty your your strength your magnitude your you know into your soul being into the knowing that you are worthy into knowing that you are god or or part of god you know it's it's in a way of knowing your worth and being strong in your own being being so knowing uh, who you are and what you are and how strong you are and what you're made of and that you're God essence and that you're worthy and that and and going through yourself and becoming you know pulling yourself out of the consensus and knowing your own self to to the 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 depths of your being and knowing who you are and what you stand for and what your beliefs are because you put each and every one of those beliefs there um, so coming into that place and being an unmovable pillar, then you create the you create not only a very strong signal to the world because you are in your might, you are a strong beacon, but you are also creating that same pull. I did a um, a video about about the law of attraction and creating like a vacuum how the more you push put out the more you bring back it like creates this a vacuum so it's the same thing the stronger you become the more of a magnet you also become because people are drawn to that as well you know the universe is drawn to strength strength is and i'm not talking about force because there can be force without strength um, but strength doesn't need to force strength just is strength goes forward in the world in the direction in in very determined and and um, um direct and purposeful uh um in the universe goes forward purposefully with purpose and so there's a big difference between force. Somebody who is strong doesn't need to force anything. Somebody who is strong understands the, the, how the universe works and doesn't force themselves. You know, force is a force. You know, sometimes you can get good results from forcing something or not even good results, the results that you want, but it is superficial. Uh, if you have to force something to, to get it or, or any kind of force, you know, it's it, it, there's an ease to the world. There's a a a um, a flow to the world. So so you don't need to force anything. So when you stand in your inner strength and you understand a, a where you stand, you can see where everybody else stands in accordance. And so so what I was seeing energetically as I was seeing him standing as a pillar and my force kind of being drawn and what i realized is that is that that in order to balance the energy then i have to bring myself into being a pillar as well and then it, it like changed everything for me and that same evening when i got uh, back i i found somebody on youtube a new video that popped up into my feed and um, a, a woman, I don't, I don't remember her name. I did subscribe. If I remember, I'll put it in the feed of this video. And if, and if I don't, then you can remind me and then I will. And, but she, she was uh, channeling messages about the, the um, purpose of the divine feminine and the purpose of the divine masculine and and the different roles that they play so i i just watched the one about the divine masculine and i still have on my uh, list to watch the one about the divine feminine and she said some very very interesting points that really kind of let me off the hook because it kind of connected to what i already know you know when you have this chasing energy it kind of comes over you and it, and it takes your whole being and and you get a, you get kind of lost in it and the chasing energy is very much in the 3d it's 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 you know you, when, on this journey we go back and forth we fluctuate between the our higher selves which is the selves that are doing the work and 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 the knowing what we're worth and 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 seeing the seeing the gap between uh where our 3d self is and where our soul is 
And then we come back down into being the experiencer in this 3D world. And that's where all the, oh no, I'm suffering, uh, comes in. And when you're able to, to lift yourself up into the soul level and you're, and you, and you kind of become the experiencer and the observer at the same time, then you can just simply watch. You can watch what you're doing. You can experience it. So you can also feel it. So you know exactly what's going on. It's like having, I heard Teal Swan uh, talk about having two points of perspective or two points of magnet or uh, of uh, magnetizing. So there's the, the 3D point and then there's the higher self. And it really sat with me because I can see this energetically. And when you combine the two, when you can become both of them at the same time, then you have a full life and you balance them, then you have a full life experience. You, you have the experience from the soul level and you have the experience from the 3D level. And so, and so um, it, when I saw this energetically, I could really see that there is nothing for me to do, you know, by chasing, by chasing, I'm not doing my work. And it kind of released something in me. I saw it energetically and I could see it as a picture and I could see myself pulling all my energy back from that from that point of magnetizing it's kind of like it's kind of like you see you know sometimes you, you I, don't know, I don't know like like you would see in a black hole something that's drawing the light so i could see myself pulling my light back out of the black hole back to centering myself and it really gave me like this sense of calm it gave me this sense of okay i can see energetically that i need to draw all of that back to me and, and become and bring all that power within me so that I can have all that power to rise with and to rise within myself with. And I also saw that there is no point in the chasing from the vantage point that I am at, at now. I still have inner work to do. I still have rising to do. I still have and I'm close. I can, I can, I, you know, even, even, you know, doing all of these videos really shows the process and I can look back at where I was, uh, um, months ago and it's such a different vantage point than where I am at now. And so I was watching <clears throat> that woman and she was, and she really put things into perspective. And she said there are, I think it was like four or five different roles that the Divine Masculine plays. And one of the roles was that he activates and initiates, he activates the female. So every time, or the, the female yeah, energy, right? And so every time, and every time you start looping, 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 you're coming over, you're coming into a new plateau, uh, going up another notch. And every time you get up another notch, the divine masculine will come in and he doesn't have to come in physically. He'll come in energetically and, and send you into another, you know, activate another part of it. And his part is to continue, to continue the activation because the female's part is to balance the energy. The female's part is to be like the, the, the to um, do the work, do the energetic work. Um, and the, the masculine is there to protect, or as I see it, to contain. She was saying to protect the energy. He comes in and creates like a void to protect that energy as the female is doing the work. And I kind of see it as a container. He comes in and protects that from, from, you know, the outside, kind of like you would see like an egg. And so he's kind of like the container. That's his job, right, in this connection. Now, just like our job is to do our job and not always are we doing our job, then those, that is the job of the divine masculine. Um, and not in every situation is divine masculine doing his job that that is the what his and I could see it energetically as correct you know when you hear truth and especially when you're experiencing 
um, this um, awakening and you're experiencing the twin flame journey, then you can you can kind of see what it, what you you can see it energetically because you are going through it and you can see the the divine counterparts. And she said some things that were very very interesting. I don't remember all of the things, um, but I do remember those two things. And that also uh, that it is defines masculine's part in this to anchor it down in the physical world because he is the more physical counterpart. And so in that, when she said that, I realized that that is completely true. So any kind of chasing is it's it's not worth anything. It's not for any good. It doesn't do any good if if it is the and I could see also that that is the way because the the power in the in the anchoring it into the three D is is in with the divine masculine. It's not with the divine feminine, and so as I could see this, I I, I saw that first of all, if until I am energetically ready, until I have this energy balanced out, there is no purpose in chasing divine masculine, and. In any case, Divine Masculine is the one that is going to anchor it down into the physical world. So there is no purpose in me chasing. And in that way, all of a sudden there was like this, pack, like a release. Like, okay, wait a minute. First of all, it can't be anchored into the 3D as long as I'm chasing anyway. Because that is, you know, chasing is, is desperate. Chasing is not that Divine Feminine energy. Divine Feminine is divine. Chasing and running after is not divine. And so even if you have that urge, somehow that urge needs to be countered within yourself. And that is the balancing of, of the energy. And, and you can see that it is in attract, unattractive. I also see it with, with ways of, of when somebody is attracted to me, when they're in that desperate mode, like <gasps> needy mode, it's unattractive. It, it kind of pulls you away rather than than bringing you for towards so even if you can feel that this is a divine connection and that the connection needs to be there it can't be there until we do the balancing work within our you know with the, the divine feminine does the balancing work and and in any case it is not our job to anchor it down into the 3d world that's not our job and so when you when you realize this, it's kind of like all of a sudden I had this 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 release and a relief, a real relief. When it's time, it's not my job. I don't need to do that. So I can just let that go and I can focus on the energetic part. And the energetic part is within me because if we are one, then I my job is to balance out that energy. And when I see it that way and I release uh, myself from having to, that, you know, because thinking about anchoring it into the 3D world for me is it's, it's like, it's like the videos that I've been doing or, or what I've been talking about the flow that is out of flow with me because it feels like a big, heavy job. If I'm going to have to go and anchor this into the physical world and, and I'm going to have to bring it all in, in that way. For me, it's something that doesn't come natural to me. So it feels like a job. And when when I heard this woman talking about it, first of all, I could, you know, when you hear truth, you know truth. And it was so true on so many different levels because I can see it. The power of anchoring it into the physical world is on him, not on me. I can see it. I mean, I don't have power in that. Every time I try to move closer, it makes him get further away. So obviously it's in his, it's, it's, it's something that is in his ballpark, not in my ballpark. And it completely let me off the hook. And not only did it let me off the hook on something that I really didn't want to have to do anyway, because it's so, it's like weighs on me. Then I, I was I, I can bring all the focus back to the energy work, which is what I love doing anyway. You know, all of the working it out and the energy and feeling it inside of me and going into deep meditation and being able to see like the pillars and the energy back and forth and how the energy works. That's what I love doing anyway. So I can just bring all that focus out of the places that I don't, don't resonate with me anyway. And that I, and that, you know, all 
it's so funny because we worry about the things that we the, the, we put a lot a lot of our focus and, and life energy into things that don't come naturally to us that we feel that are hard for us because they're hard for us and we don't know how to do them we worry about them and we and we think about them and 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 how am I going to do this? And you start thinking, and it takes all of your focus instead of putting your focus on the things that you are good at and that you do know how to do. And so it really, I felt like it really just kind of let me off the hook on that because I could see that not only am I not great at it, it doesn't come natural to me. And so it's not in the flow with my being. And then, you know, it's coming back to all of these pieces of the puzzle. See, everything is connected to everything. Everything that I talk about in all of these videos, every single thing is connected to everything else. And so when you start realizing that, it's like you're getting all of these little pieces of a puzzle and they're all fitting together nicely. And the, 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 the higher you rise on this ascension, the more pieces of the puzzle that you get and the clearer the big picture becomes. All of a sudden there's like, you start seeing things like so much clearer. It's like if I look back at videos that I did, sometimes I look back because I don't have space on my computer anymore to, to um, save all the videos. So I go back to like April and May and I'm starting to erase the old videos that I already put up and I start seeing the places that I was in and energetically when I see like a video and I remember, oh, I remember recording that. I can see where I was and I can see where I am and I can see that where I was, it was like I had fuzz. It was like my sight was so much more cloudy than it is today. Today, my sight has gotten so clear. So on the spiritual awakening, whether it's a spiritual awakening, a twin flame journey, whatever it is, the, the, further, the further your ascension, the clearer the picture becomes, the more pieces of the puzzle that you have. And... Um, so when I realized this, when she said that, it just kind of completely let me off the hook. And then I went into the space of like, okay, every time I feel the chasing energy coming up, I can tell myself that same story. Wait a minute. That is not your job to anchor it into the 3D. Let him deal with that. You know, he's good at doing his job. He does. He's, he, I, I, I so lucked out. I just so lucked out on my partner in this. I so lucked out. I just lucked out big time, mega time. I'm just, I'm so like, I feel graced. And by me doing my job, I allow him to do his job. And by me doing my job, I'm doing it for the both of us. It's like if I see him as containing the energy, that means allowing and making a space for it then I need to be in that space doing my work rather than just constantly looking at the eggshell. Okay, oh, let me in, let me in. You know, it's like, it's, it's like if, if I want him to do his part and what she was speaking about, and hopefully I remembered it, I, it was a really good, I mean, it started out really slow and a lot of things that I already really knew. Uh, but then when she got into it, um, I started, I started saying, wait a minute, she's, she's talking about new things here that I've never heard before. And they're resonating as truth and not only as truth as, you know, like a divine understanding and a divine, like gave me this peace. And if, if I want him to do his job, then I need to be doing my job for the both of us because he's doing his job for the both of us. He's containing this and he is activating and he is doing a really good job at activating, believe me, doing an excellent job at activating. Sheesh. So if I want him to do his job because of the war, there's constantly helicopters and planes and all sorts of it's an army vehicle, an army helicopter, directly over me, direct line over me, just went right over me. Like I could look up and it was like its belly was above me. Um, so if I, if I, you know, it almost, it, it's like it, it, when you have this unconditional love, then you're willing to give up yourself for the whole. 
when you're in unconditional love for the planet or for somebody, you, it's like, I want to, I want to do this work, not only for me, but also for him. And if we are one soul and we each have our own part in this to do, we each have our own job to do, then I want to be holding up my part, my end of the deal. And by understanding the different counterparts and what his job is, and I can see that he's doing his job, then I, I don't, you know, I want to, uh, I don't want to let down on my end. It's almost like, but it's, it's not let down. It's more like, I want to do this and I want to complete it for the both of us. And it's not anymore about what am I going to get from it? It's more like, it, it's kind of, it feels like a, a unconditional love. It feels like love. I want to do this out of love. I want to complete my part, not only for love of me and for me doing my part and my ascension, but his ascension is dependent also, you know, I want to do this for the both of us because we are one soul. And this is my part in completing this soul connection or completing this soul's purpose. And so uh, that's really where I am on the twin flame journey. And then in the physical world, so this was the day before yesterday when I had that uh, epiphany and then I saw that video at night and it was just like so perfect timing. It's so amazing how the synchronicities on this journey. It's just amazing how the synchronicities come in and perfect timing. And so yesterday I woke up and I was just kind of like let go. I did, you know, I just just get into the flow and um, and I was in my own space. And then I took my son and I went and I went shopping with him. I kind of felt like I was just off the hook. There was no chasing energy. I was just off the hook. And I set up to go and meet with a friend of mine, which I'm actually going to go and meet today instead of yesterday. But I set up with him that I was going to go and visit him. He's off in Yavnia in an area here. He's staying at a farm. And he offered me to come and visit. And so I was going to go and visit. And then in the afternoon... You know, I was completely in a different place. I was completely let go. And in the afternoon, my twin texts me that he's here at this, where I am now. Um, and that uh, he brought things to make, uh, to make food over a fire. And if I wanted to join, I, he was here with his son. And if I want to join, that I'm welcome. And it's like, see, it's when you let go you allow space and so I came and we had a wonderful evening we had a really fun evening it was something else it was you know there was just light and and easy and this is where we did the fire I took some of the ashes this morning so that I could uh, I'm going I'm starting to make organites and I feel like there's really good energy in the fire. So I took some of the ashes. I'm going to make some organites with it. And uh, it was just really nice. And that there's like a shift. There's like a shift in energy. And that chasing energy, you know, it used to be there constantly. And now it just comes up in like little waves. And I kind of put it down. And, and it's like you can you can you can um alchemize your emotions with your thoughts and in all of this knowing um and everything that you know that i that i've gone through on this journey so far and all of this knowing you can alchemize it you can be like the energy will start coming up and then you're like oh wait a minute and you can put it down it's kind of like marrying your emotions and your thoughts together because each one of them um, has influence on the other so you can influence your emotion with your thoughts and you can influence your thoughts with your emotions so that's where I am this morning and that's kind of what I've been going through for the last uh, couple of days on the twin flame journey kind of just sitting into it just easing into it and bringing all of that uh, energy back to me and on my inner working and on and that's where I am I and that that whole thing with the containing and with the 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 ma divine masculine's job is to anchor everything it really just kind of let me off the hook I feel like a relief and a release 
and and knowing that what my job is and a determination also to bring that energy in and balance it and and there is no big you know deal about it all of the energy that i need to balance is within myself everything that i need for this journey i contain and i is in my ability and in my capability so there's nothing outside of me that I need to do. It's all internal work. It's all because we are the same soul. When I balance that energy within me, then I'm balancing it for the both of us. So it's, it's balancing the masculine and feminine within me. So the, the masculine attributes and the feminine attributes, and you can go in, so it kind of gives you a map right? What are masculine attributes? What are feminine astro attributes? And you have all of it within yourself. And when I am able to fully balance that within myself, then I'm balancing it out for the both of us. And there is no force in it. It's all ease. Everything in the universe is divine. You see the trees grow with ease. They grow with ease. They grow in accordance to their condition and what is in the ground, but they grow with ease. There is no force. They don't, they're not complaining. Well, wait a minute. How come I don't have ground from South America with, blah, 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 blah. you know, they just kind of like, okay, this is what I'm working with and this is what it is. And they just kind of grow with ease. So it's the same thing with us. Everything that we need is within us. There is no force in this and everything happens with ease. When you're trying to force, you're trying to make something be that that is not. With ease, everything is just in a flow. Everything can rise from within you. You have everything that you need within you um, for this journey. For There is no desperation. There is no searching out from outside of you. Everything is inside. So... And what I'm doing here this morning is that my twin yesterday is missing a lid for one of his pots. You see how everything has meaning? So I came here to look for it and it's not here. And then there's like that, there's like this, this part of me that is like, you, you know, you know, the saying that every, every pot has its lid. And then he sent me here on a wild goose chase to search for a lid for one of his pots but it's not here and so it's like the lid for his pot isn't here right see that's how my mind works <laughs> and so then i started feeling like i have to find that lid i have to find that lid and the lid's not here and so then i was just like okay this universe is so funny you see what you want to see and there's like you can find meaning in every single thing and regardless the work is mine to do so it doesn't matter if i find the lid well the lid's not here so so it's just like well okay the lid's not here the the pot the pot lid isn't here so anyway so i i i think i'm going to go ahead and sum this up i kind of feel a little bit off the hook I kind of feel, what, what do I mean by off the hook? I'm on the hook for my part of it, but I feel like a relief and a release for being off the hook for his part of it. The part of the journey that, that I was most dreading, like, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to make this happen? All of a sudden I realize, okay, it's not mine to make happen. So I get like this immense, immense, immense relief and I can release him to do his part of the journey. He doesn't have to do my part of the journey and I can let him off the hook for that and also let myself off the hook for the parts that I don't, am not good at and don't really, wasn't looking forward to having to do anyway. And uh, that I really can't see how to do them because it's not my job. And so it's also kind of uh, allowing yourself that you don't have to control everything. You don't have to do everything. It's not all my job to do all of the parts of this. He also has parts of this to do that have nothing to do with me. I need to focus on my part of it and my part I do know how to do. Um, you know, even if I'm at a loss sometimes, it's all within me. And I know that the answers are within me. So I can I can also just ask the eithers, you know, pray for it. Okay, give me the answer. Show me the next step. And, and I can also trust that he's doing his part with the activation, whether he knows that he's doing or not doing it. You know, even like the, the pot, the pot cover this morning. 
like that's activating. That's part of activating. See the whole thing with my mind, like, oh, wait a minute, I have to find this pot. <laughs> like every pot has a, you know, that with knowing or without knowing, he's activating me. Everything that he says activates me at a certain level. So he's doing his, I can see how he's doing his job without even knowing that he's doing his job because it's being done. You know, everything that he says touches me touches me it's like it's like you have this big finger that comes all the way into the middle of your soul and goes and without even knowing it he doesn't have to do anything he just has to be so I can kind of take that as a reflection back to me like I don't have to force anything I don't have to do anything I can just be and so I love that I love this realization so I love I feel like I've gotten to a whole new level on this uh, twin flame journey it's a it's a brand new place that I'm in there the 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 place of releasing of the pain because I know that everything that is happening is happening divinely I can see it I can see it and that I could see that energy being sucked back to me I could see it in my mind's eye when I went into that deep meditation place and I see things energetically I could see myself pulling it back to me and bringing myself up to be as an equal magnet, equal magnet. And, you know, and then, and then there is equality. And once there's equality, it doesn't matter if he comes in or doesn't come in because I am at that place. I'm holding that center. I am at the same magnitude level. So when I'm at that soul level, Nothing outside of me is going to move me from my center. So it doesn't matter anyway, right? So I'm liking this video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sum this up. I'm going to visit my friend in Yavniel and thank you for watching. I like this because talking it out gives me also the knowledge, knowing what I'm knowing. And I can always come back to this and give myself the message back to myself. It's kind of like when I open up these videos... I kind of have a calling to talk about something because something is like <sighs> coming up in me, but I never know exactly where it's going to go because it always works its way out as I talk. And so I, I really like all the realizations and all the things that came out on this for the twin flame journey. I kind of feel like it's valuable. I'm going to watch that. What is the feminine, um, uh, part in this on my way to visit my friend and then we'll see I imagine that that will resonate with me for a while and then I'll come back and I'll probably do another video on that I might do a video where I combine both of those videos and kind of give my own assessment of it and links of course to the woman who has channeled this um, cahoots to her so thank you for watching have a wonderful weekend